which of the following is an integer? Well, if you're used to dealing with factorials, um, this is a pretty straightforward question. If you're not, let's just review them quickly. So three factorial means three times two times one. Four factorial means four times three times two times one. And this is the same thing for any number. So n factorial is every number from one through n multiplied together to create a product. So if we look at what happens when you divide four factorial by three factorial, what you'll notice is that four factorial includes three factorial inside of it. It has the exact same numbers and then it's just multiplied by four. And five factorial is equal to five times four factorial, which means it's equal to five times four times three factorial. So every factorial uh, greater than three factorial is gonna have three factorial in it. And every factorial greater than six factorial is gonna have six factorial in it. We could represent 12 factorial as 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 factorial. And so this six factorial will cancel right out and we are left with a whole number on top, which is also known as an integer. All right, the same idea applies here. So that means that this is also going to work. And this final one, uh, 12 factorial over seven factorial, five factorial. Well, this is actually a mathematical principle as well. I don't think it's worth diving into, but if you think about it for, for a couple of minutes, you might be able to resolve this on your own. This is also something that we see in combinatorics where the bottom two numbers add up to the top two number. And anytime you have this situation with factorials, they're going to uh, cancel out to a whole number on top. And if we look at this 12 factorial over seven factorial, five factorial, I could take care of the seven factorial first and say this is 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, divided by five factorial. So I crossed out seven factorial from the top and the bottom. And now if I look at this, this is really five times four times three times two times one. And if I try to cancel out across the top, five goes into 10, leaves me with a two, three goes into nine, leaves me with a three, two times four goes into eight and crosses it out completely. And I'm left with 12 times 11 times two times three on top. And that definitely is going to give a whole number out. And so this one also gives us an integer when we cancel the top and the bottom. And all three of these are integers. So that means that answer choice E is correct.